Miami Heat fans, Ernest back again with another Miami Heat video, you guys. So here we are. Tonight is the last game of the first half of the season of the Miami Heat. Tonight at 7 p.m., we take on the Charlotte Hornets. Now, we lost to Dallas, 107-99. to For those of you that saw the game, it was hella competitive. Miami was winning the entire first half, and then the infamous third quarter hit us. For those of you that watched the Tobin show at 790 The Ticket, y'all know what I'm talking about. Miami Heat in the third quarter this season has been up and down, so it's called the third quarter. Um, but with the five-game winning streak, it looked like we were getting over that hump. Uh, it showed on, uh, on the game against Dallas. Now, Dallas is an incredible defensive team. Luka Doncic is one of the best NBA players, and they have a talented squad there. You saw it. It was a very competitive game from beginning to end. Um, and we just didn't come up with a W, and that's just because of lack of defensive and turnovers. So Miami does have to fix that. But let's not forget the fact that we were missing Tyler Hero, Dwayne Dedman, and Caleb Martin. The same story for the Miami Heat all year long. This is how it's going to go into the playoffs, I feel. We're never going to be fully healthy because we're gearing for the playoffs. Right now, what's important is getting everybody ready for the playoffs, you guys. So right now, we're sitting at a 37-21 and 21 record. We are a half a game down from the first seat. Chicago owns the first seed right now with a 38 and 21 record. If we win tonight, we will get back that first seed because we own the tiebreaker with Chicago. So a win tonight is very important. We definitely want to stay in the top two going into the all-star break. So guys, we talked about this the last video. After the all-star break is when shit's about to go down. All right. The Miami Heat are poised and pushed for a playoff push all right we're gonna have our top players back there's nobody that's super healthy the reason why Caleb Martin Tyler Hero and Dwayne Dedman are not playing right now is because it's not playoff time everybody's ready Spolstra's just making sure that everyone's 100% healthy and I cannot agree more the fact that we're still top two with all these injuries that have happened this year has been nothing short but a Cinderella story. Now Miami have to do it and do it big and that is win the NBA championship. I don't want no second round Eastern Conference Finals thinking this is big enough. No. There's NBA championship or bust. We have the talent. We have the capability. It is now. The time is now, you guys. Can you feel it? Can you sense it, my Heat Nation? We are doing it. I feel it. This year is bigger than any year we've had with the Jimmy Butler era. Even though we went to the NBA Finals in the bubble, I feel it this year, you guys. I really feel like that this year, there's not a team out there that can stop us. During the bubble, the whole time we were doing that run, I told myself, this is great. This is fantastic. But we're going to have to run into the Lakers in the championship. I remember I told myself that when we were up 2-0 against Milwaukee. I remember I told myself that when Bam and Abayo made that game-saving block against Jason Tatum. This is all amazing. But when we get to the finals, we have the Lakers. And that's what happened. But this year, I don't feel that way. There is no team in the NBA that scares me. I don't give a damn about the Warriors or the Suns or the Grizzlies or what Philly can do or what Brooklyn's going to do. I can give three left monkey nutsacks about any of that. It's our time. It's the Heat's year. Miami Heat culture is going to prove it. I'm going on this rant because it's facts, guys. We've proven it all year that we are the best team in the NBA. When we are fully healthy, when we are fully capable, we can compete with the best of them. So it's time to get positive. It's time to get happy, you guys. Because after tonight, the Miami Heat's going to go on a much-deserved break. They're going to have eight days off. Not Jimmy and Spolstra, but all the other players. A little update I want to give you guys. For those of you that don't know, Victor Oladipo is finally competing in five-on-five -five games. And Miami Heat has sent him to Sioux Fall Hill in South Dakota, which is our G League team, which means he is coming back very, very soon. And guys, with a 100% healthy team, with Victor Oladipo, this is what we've been talking about all season. We are going to be unstoppable. All right? Now, are we going to bring back Dragic? Are we going to bring another player? We still have that last roster spot to fill. No updates as of yet. Same thing's going on. Dragic is basically molding offers. But here's an update I want to let you guys know. The game against Brooklyn, we're... Kyrie Irvin made that comeback in the fourth quarter and we won. Goran Dragic was there. I didn't know this. 
But Goran Dragic was at the game, watching the game, taking pictures with fans, sitting at the seats that Pat Riley used to sit at, the Godfather seats. So for those of you think there's no way that Dragic is going to come back, you might, might be wrong. Maybe Dragic wants to come back. He hasn't been playing all year. Maybe he'll come back, fill that roster spot, be called if we need him. You never know. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think. What have you thought about this first half of the season? Let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button, you guys. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button. This is Heat Nation. This is a confident Miami Heat team. We are poised. We are ready. And we are going to do it. Tonight, Charlotte Hornets, get ready to take this L. Because Miami Heat are winners. And that is enough said. I'll see you guys next time.